Mushroom walks into a bar. The bartender says, we don't serve your kind here. Mushroom says, why not? I'm a fun guy. <laughs>to another edition of Cooking Chris's Dishes with the good old boy, that's me, where we're cooking up dishes straight from RecipesThatCrock.com, which is my wife's cooking blog that has over 400 recipes and rising. And today we're going to add another recipe to that batch, and that would be steak side mushrooms, which you can find in Busy Day Slow Cooking from Gooseberry Patch, and Lisa Robeson from Corpus Christi, Texas. Wow, there's a lot of people from Texas that put in uh, recipes into this book. So, well, it is a big state, so there's a lot of people. I don't know. <laughs> okay. But anyway. They know how to cook in Texas. Yes, they do. We used a lot of recipes from the people from Texas, and they do a very, very good job, including this one from Lisa. Thank you, Lisa. And steak side mushrooms. You will need the following ingredients. Two pounds of small mushrooms that have been trimmed. These are baby portabellas that uh, are cremini mushrooms, as they're called. Um, already been washed and rinsed and packaged. And you need two cups of red dry wine. Or I'm sorry, dry. I cannot blah, blah, blah. read. I cannot read for the life of me today. You need two cups of dry red wine or beef broth. Either way will be well. And my wife, because she prepped the final product, this is four cups in here. So there's exactly two cups, or at least there should be if she did her math right. <laughs> and you need one quarter cup of butter that's been sliced up, so that would be one half stick of butter. You also need one and a half teaspoons of Worcestershire Leon Parents Leon Perrin sauce. <laughs> and you also need two cubes of beef bouillon. We are using something that is better than bouillon. No, literally, that's the name of it. It's better than bouillon. So, in order to have two cubes of beef bouillon, it's what? It's a teaspoon per cube. A teaspoon per cube. So, we'll use two teaspoons of that stuff or two, cu two, cu two, two. cubes. <laughs> two cubes of beef bouillon. You need a half teaspoon of garlic powder. You need a half teaspoon of onion powder. You need one half teaspoon of dried thyme. And you need one half teaspoon of pepper. And, and this is how you do it. You take your mushrooms. And the way my wife prepped this, because it's kind of difficult to mix everything up with all the mushrooms. Well, because we're using a smaller slow cooker. Yeah. So she tossed her mushrooms in a slow cooker, just like that. And that is a lot of mushrooms. That's kind of the thing about mushrooms, like you could take a huge thing of this and dump it in like a skillet to reduce them down. And you know they shrink up and then it looks like you hardly had any mushrooms at all. That's kind of what's going to happen here. You take your two pounds. This would be a perfect side dish for uh, barbecue. Steak. Yeah, steak. <laughs> or even <clears throat> barbecue chicken. I think everybody kind of likes that. Wow. We should have used a bigger slow cooker because now there's not much room left. Uh, <laughs> there's a good joke for you. Humor people are coming at you. <laughs> that was better than now the rest of <laughs> <laughs> That one will make the cut. That will work. All right, I'm glad you approved. So now we will take the rest of our ingredients and put them in the mixing bowl so they get all mixed up. Here is your two cups of beef bouillon. Shouldn't take that long since it's only two cups now. There it is. And you have to pardon my dog. He's wanting to treat He's treater. having a cow over here. Better be a small cow. <laughs> uh, your butter. Oh. No, 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 no. no, no. The butter, no. we're just going to put it over the mushrooms. We're going to put the butter over the mushrooms. Like this. Little pat here, little pat there. Your pat there, pat. <laughs> pat, pat. <laughs> Wow. It's been a long day around here, so we're going to oh, McDonald movie. had a dairy cow. <laughs> oh. Evidently, my wife's in the mood to make jokes. <laughs> All right, so the butter. Over the top of your mushrooms, you have your beef broth. Beef broth? Beef? I cannot speak English for the life of me tonight. Um... 
<laughs> and my dog is, I don't know what, what's up? Sit. 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 <laughs> don't listen to me. Good boy. <laughs> Alright, so now you have your beef broth and you need one and one half teaspoon of your Worcestershire Shire, Shire, your Lee and Perrin sauce. And there is one. And about a half. <laughs> Could have been closer to two, but. Your measuring skills. Well, that's also tell. Lee and Perrin's. Is that the last thing that we need in the teaspoon? It is. I swear I could drink that stuff, it is so good. Rest of it is all half teaspoon stuff. So your half teaspoon of garlic powder, your half teaspoon of onion powder, your half teaspoon of pepper. I don't really know how to measure it out, so I'm going to say... What you always do. Doesn't matter. Seven twists. <laughs> Doesn't matter what it calls nope. for you. It's always, always seven twists. And then, I'll do all the dry stuff first. And then your half teaspoon of thyme. Thyme! It's on my side. Yes, it is! <laughs> oh, look at that. I've got time on my hands. Oh, my word. Oh, wow. Too much time on your hands? Too much time on my hands. Um, that's supposed to be a teaspoon. Yeah, so I thought of that after I licked the spoon, but well, it's okay. We'll use a half teaspoon. It's like a jelly. Yeah. It's going to be hard to get mixed completely in, which is okay. It's going to be hard to get out of it. After it cooks up, it, it'll, it'll melt and blend in and all that. You know, it kind of looks like... It's like Vegemite. That Australian stuff that they put on I toast. Don't, I've never had It's made from beer. Or really? Something. Anybody out there, y'all ever had Vegemite? Tell me, is it any good? Maybe somebody from Australia is watching this. Good day. Oh, that's right, you need two. <laughs> there's, there's one. This is a half. You're making that look off. I did, I did it, and I didn't get any of it on me. <laughs> that was awful. So, I wouldn't stick that in my mouth. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't do that. <sighs> That's a little meaty flavor in that. Oh, right. It's very, very condensed, dear. Yeah. It's like popping a bullion cube in That's like hard to concentrate. <laughs> oh. ah! Alright, so I will take a fork. And stir that up. That way you can kind of mash up that bouillon a little bit. Yeah, and if it doesn't completely blend, you're alright. It, it will by the end. It will over time. Uh, and garlic. Uh, and onion powder. Oh my God. <laughs> And then just pour it, I guess, over the yep. top of your mushrooms. Just like that. You need to get all of it in there. And, and then are. you'll stir it after the mushrooms cook down. Yeah. After they cook down for a while, and you'll know when they cook down because they'll shrink up to probably about half the size of what that is. Mm -hmm. And then, oh, I shot that fork. Harden all the dirty dishes, but we've been taping and cooking this afternoon. So, in fact, I forgot to put the mashed potatoes up for dinner. <laughs> well, that's okay. It's okay for mashed potatoes to start on the shot then. So now, you know what would have been great? What? Had I remembered how long I'm supposed to put this on for? How long am I supposed to put oh, this on for? Oh, goodness. Power. It will definitely say the right thing on the website. It will definitely say the right thing on the I website. I want to say hi for two to three hours. Hi for two to three hours. Check us on the website at recipes.crock.com. Why is it beeping? <laughs> Temperature. He has always had a love-hate relationship. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I love to hate it. I um, personally like it. Two hours. 
cook. Two hours, I'm high. I check it in about an hour, you'll start to see them reducing down. Stir it up, and when you get done, you will have mushrooms. that look like this, and I'll spin it out into a pretty bowl, oh yeah, get a little, I'm gonna get a little bit of that juice with it, you know, this has already had the, everything stirred up in it already, that's what it looks like there, and this is what it looks like going in my belly. <laughs> As is, not bad. I would add a little salt to it. Just so happens I have to have my salt pig behind me. I put some salt in it. Why don't you add salt to the other one? I think I will. I'd say to that many mushrooms. Let me see. Mm. That many mushrooms. <clears throat> I'd add about half teaspoon, kind of like you did with a garlic powder and everything, a half teaspoon over the top of it. They're really good. They're, they're still a chew to them, mm -hmm. like a, I don't want to say a crunch, but a chew to the mushrooms. Um, they're not rubbery at all. Like sometimes you can get when you saute mushrooms, they'll get a little rubbery flavor, mm -hmm. or a little rubbery chew to it, but those are pretty good. Those would be really good with steak. And you know like this, this reminds me of, I just, I just suddenly had a memory of the first time you ever cooked for me. Do you remember that? I do. Oh, wow. That's been... Lots of years ago. Almost 20 years ago. He tried to prepare a, a nice meal in a dorm in kitchen. In a dormitory kitchen, which, which was like was the bad. cheapest stove you could ever find. But... How was it? It was very delicious. It was good. He it made was... buttered mushrooms. I made buttered mush. I made sautéed mushrooms in butter. Uh huh. And deer loin. Yes. With mashed potatoes, I think. Probably. Or something. Some I remembered the mushrooms. That's why. And here's how I know it was good because all of the girls on your floor came down to see this really good-looking guy <laughs> cooking dinner for you, <laughs> and then everybody wanted some. So, uh, of the of the state or the, the beer oh, line. it could be that people the hadn't guy. had a home cooked meal in forever. Well, there <laughs> might have been that, but no, this recipe is good. It'll go very well with steak or any kind of a good side dish to a meat. Um, <clears throat> again, check it out on the website. It'll tell you how long to really cook it for. And that recipe, that recipe, and the time and all that will be on recipesthatcrock.com. And also, if you haven't become a member of the family. The crock pot slow cooking family that we are, join us by subscribing down below here at youtube.com slash Mikey Good. And also check us out on Facebook at Recipes That Crock, as well as Good Old Tunes with Good Old Boy, where we'll share more of the musical side of things, as well as promo in these videos for the recipes and other fun things from the family. We want to thank you guys again for watching. Uh, we're getting a lot of subscribers really quickly here lately, and it's awesome. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for that, for joining us. And uh, we hope uh, that you uh, are digging what we're laying down. Because uh, you keep watching and we will keep cooking. And all will be well. Bye.